America. You know, I love Captain America. I love the concept of Captain America. But uh, I am so tired of all of this wokeness and anti-Americanism. Um, you know, we just celebrated our 245th birthday. In my opinion, America is the greatest country in history. It's not perfect. We are constantly striving for a more perfect union, as we all know. But I believe she's the most fair equitable country ever uh, with more opportunity than anyone's ever seen. And that's why people are clamoring to get here from all over the globe. Um, I agree with Senator Tom Cotton, who was on um, a couple days ago, who said that uh, perhaps Captain needs to be demoted to lieutenant because <laughs> I think that makes good sense. We're here, you know, America has its founding principles, which I firmly believe in. I believe in individual freedom. I believe in equality of opportunity, not outcome. Competition, the ability to compete fairly, hard work, which which brings you success and brings you material wealth, which in turn gives you self-reliance. That's what everybody wants on the face of this planet. That's what everybody strives for. That's why they're trying to come here. And and I find you know this wokeness, it's it's it, it's pervasive. It goes through everything. It's in our school system. The cool thing to do today is bash America. The comic books do it. Uh, the schools indoctrinate our kids. They do that. Our movies, our television shows is full of it. Celebrities, actors, athletes, the media, they love to bash America. I, I don't get it. I wonder to myself often, do these people ever travel outside of America? Do they go to mm -hmm. other countries where they have to deal with governments who aren't anywhere near as fair as the United States? I, I, I don't think they do. I do it all the time. And I kiss the soil when I get back here.